There we go, guys. Merry Christmas. 50 pounder right here on Nickajack Lake, Tennessee River. That is a brute. fish guys I was checking my motor and then a rod just went down he keeps going he's in cut bluegill as bait Christmas Eve so Merry Christmas to you guys wanted to get out here just for a few hours be 
before doing all the Christmas festivities with the family tonight. It's a nice day. Very mild. It's sunny, but we had a warm front come in. And the air temperature is 61 degrees. Water temp is 50 degrees. And I'm using cut bluegill as bait. My go-to winter bait. I mean, you just can't go wrong with cut bluegill this time of the year. And this one came on the midsection. I'm anchored right on the current seam. We have very fast current. The spill gates below the dam are still open, causing a really good current. Those blues love the current. It gets the bait, the fish more congregated in different areas. And the scent from your bait is, is good with the current because it allows that scent to go downstream into a hole or wherever you're fishing. But this is a big boy here. This one's definitely a backbreaker. That's for sure. Now keep in mind, I'm battling current and big fish at the same time. So it's gonna be harder to get this fish in. This one may be over 50, I don't know. I mean, hard to tell in this current. Got him, guys. Good fish. What a fight. Oh, man, my back is killing me. This is 
what I wanted to show you guys. Right there, cut bluegill, and it's not even a big piece. Sometimes you have to downsize in the winter time because the catfish will bite finicky and they can be slow to the touch when taking the bait. So sometimes I'll downsize. And this is, I don't know, a small average size for a bluegill. It's the midsection. Fifty-two pounds minus the net. You're looking fifty and a half, maybe fifty-one pounds. So we'll just say a solid fifty pounder. It's a really good fish. It's my second biggest fish of the year, and because it's Christmas Eve, um, probably my last biggest fish of the year. That's a really good fish. Oh. There we go, guys. Merry Christmas. 50 pounder right here on Nickajack Lake, Tennessee River. That is a brute. Look at this fish. Let me see if I can get a better angle for you. Very nice fish. Let's go ahead and release them. There she goes. Back to the depths. What a great Christmas gift, honestly. Uh, I'm just in shock mode a little bit it's been tough to find a fish that's 50 pounds or bigger this year so that's the second fish this year where i've broken 50. Um, and i'm in one of my favorite holes here on the river and i just had three rods out using cut bluegill and i had waited close to 30 minutes and was about to reel up the rods and go somewhere else and in the meantime, what I was doing is I was checking out my throttle cables here. Uh, it's kind of a crazy story. I'll just get straight to it. But this throttle got caught underneath the dock, causing it to move back. And now it's, uh, it's a little loose. So I'm going to have to see what's going on. But I'm pretty sure the, the reverse cable here is shot or loose or something's going on but i was checking it out and then this rod was just buried i mean it was buried down so and finding that fish in this type of current is no joke right now it is 60,000 cubic feet per second which is a pretty fast current and those blues love the current if you can get settled in a hole or some sort of structure and you have a bloody bait on there and it gets that scent going those blues will get it so current is always a good thing when fishing for blue catfish and i'm just thankful to get something like this here hope you all had a good christmas and that you guys have a happy new year tight lines fish on back to the depths we'll see you later